everyone. Welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another episode as a part of our Law of Attraction series. This series is so exciting because as I'm learning different aspects, I share them with you. So it's going to help you on your journey to become your greatest version. Now, before we get on with today's video, I want you to hit that subscribe button. It's going to give you notifications to when I have new videos. Now, I know that there's actually 75% of you who are watching my channel who are not subscribed. Please make sure you subscribe. It definitely helps me get more exposure on my channel and it helps to create a beautiful community that we call the MK Love Fam. So without further ado, let's get on to today's content. It is so amazing. Today, we're gonna to be speaking about your emotional guidance system. Now, the reason why I'm speaking about this is because on the previous episode, The Astonishing Power of Emotions, I was telling you about when you feel good, that's when you get into vibrational alignment and you help close the gap of resistance. And then that's when you are able to manifest your desires. Now, in order to close the gap, it says, it sounds easier said than done, right? Like it's difficult. It's no wrong choice of words. It is a unique experience that you're going to go through. Now there's actually 22 emotions that you can experience. You can, I'm not saying that you will, when you start from the bottom, which is depression, then we go all the way up to the top, number one, which is joy. Now, this book here, The Amazing Power of Deliberate Intent, Living the Art of Allowing, this actually gave me some really, really good insight. Now, I've had this book for ages. I actually got rid of it as a part of my KonMari method because it didn't spark joy at the time. But then my partner actually found the store that I actually gave it to and we purchased it back. Since then, it's crazy how you let things go and then you're like, I really need that. And then you buy them back, crazy. Anyway, so on page 90, ooh, that's good for numerology. Nine is the completion. Um, Abraham talks about this section here. So it goes, what number does that go to? 16, we probably can't read that, might be back to the front. And it goes all the way onto that section. I'll just read them to you and I'll just post them on the screen so you can see. So the scale of your emotions would, we'll start from the bottom and work our way up to the top. So if anyone has experienced depression, fear, grief, despair, or powerless, powerlessness, that is number two. That is on the bottom of the scale. Um, okay, I'll just read them out to you and then we'll explain it further. So 21 is insecurity, guilt, or unworthiness. 22, 20, jealousy. 19, hatred or rage. 18 is revenge. Every time I see that word revenge, it reminds me of the Veronica's song, Revenge is Sweeter Than You Ever Were. 17 is anger. 16, discouragement. 15, blame. 14, worry. 13, doubt. 12, disappointment. 11, overwhelmment. 10, frustrate, frustration, irritation, or impatience. That's an interesting one. We'll talk about that in a second. Nine is pessimism. Eight, boredom. Seven, contentment. Six, hopefulness. Five, optimism. Four, positive expectation or belief. Three, enthusiasm, enthusiasm eagerness, or happiness. Two is passion. One is joy knowledge, empowerment, freedom, love, or appreciation. So just think about to a time when maybe you were at 22. I know for me, this 22 actually um, got me in hospital. I manifested illness and disease within my body. Um, I ended up with a urinary tract infection, was hospitalized, was really sick. I was given so much antibiotics that actually had... um, what do you call it? Side effects from side effects, which is crazy. Um, Because they give you one drug and then you get a side effect from that and then they give you another drug which is stronger from that one. Then you get another side effect and on and on and on and on. And I also went through um, depression last year. I think that's why this year I'm more so tuned in, tapped on, turned on. If you follow um, Abraham Hicks, that's what they say. Um, to be more aware of my emotions. So if I think a thought, I'm not gonna say, oh, for the past, how old am I? 
29. So for the past 29 years, I've been abusing my body and blah, blah, blah. It's like, you don't have to think about undoing the past. All you have to think about is just thinking a better thought. And in my previous video, The Astonishing Power of Emotions, we actually, well, we as in me, <laughs> I actually talk about um, a strategy called it really would be lovely if, or it really would be nice if. So in, if you're in a state of depression, you just have to think a better thought because then that thought is going to start getting you out of that stage. You're not going to go from depression all the way to love and joy and happiness. It's not going to happen. You start moving up the emotional guidance scale. And as you get up each rank, you start to feel a little bit of relief. That's all where, all of, that's how you create um, your manifestations. No, that's how you manifest your desires. Um, it's just such an interesting concept to think that, you know, you don't have to have such a big gap in your system and that, you know, by continuing to make better choices, by thinking better thoughts, you are in turn creating a more beautiful world. Yes, it's going to take you time to get from depression all the way to joy. I think for me, it took me like two months to get back up there, but I now know some fabulous tools that have helped, um, what's the word? Accelerate my progress. So let's just say, hmm, let's just say you are, you've got anger. So you're number 17. You have got so much anger towards someone because they have let you down and you're just like, how flippin' dare you do this to me? Do you know who I am? You know, you're just so angry. And when that happens and you use the strategy, it really would be lovely if, it really would be lovely if you didn't do that to me. It really would be lovely if you, started treating me with love. It really would be lovely if I wasn't so hurt by what you have done. It really would be lovely if beautiful things only occurred in my universe. That's just an example. Um, so it's just I, basically the main point that I'm trying to get across for this video is that wherever you are on your emotional guidance scale, just know by thinking a better thought, you are slowly moving up. You don't have to jump from one rank to the other. If you can, then that is amazing, but it's very unlikely and I don't know anyone that can do that. So you just have to think better thoughts. I actually had some strategies. It really would be nice if, oh, and the other one is um, where you go on a rampage of appreciation. I really like this one. All right, my loves, welcome to Behind the Scenes of MK Love. Um, so, I've just started this rampage of appreciation recently. I'm not super fast at it. And I notice whenever I get to a point where I can't think of anything, then that's when I stop. But usually I feel really good. Um, so here we go. I love my bed. I love my pillow. I love my beautiful partner, Peter. I love our house. I love that we live on the Sunshine Coast now and we listen to our intuition and we just moved. I love our tables and chairs. I love our couch. I love our cushions. I love that we have a laundry. I love that we have a garage, an enclosed garage that has a remote control. I love that we live 10 minutes from um, the pool. We've got a gym. We've got a tennis court. We've got a cafe. We've got shower facilities. I love that it's always beautiful weather here. I love that I have a salt lamp. I love that I have beautiful, fresh, ripe, beautiful, delicious, goodness, fruits and veggies that are in our fridge. I love that we have a cute little kitchen. I love, I even love our dish rack, even though it's, I just did a massive pile of dishes over here. I love that we've got a wooden dish rack. I love my towels. I love our shower because it's so much bigger than our last one. I love that this is just our home. I love who I am. I love that I can talk on camera without makeup and just like, this is me. I'm literally like sitting in my togs with a sarong on and it's okay. I have my belly out and I never do that. And I just love that I'm loving who I am with each and every day. And I love that I stumbled across Abraham Hicks because otherwise I never would have heard of a rampage of appreciation. I love learning and I love meditating and I love making meditation videos for you guys. I love creating videos to help people feel better about themselves. I love my MK love fam. I love that you comment below. I love that you subscribe and I love that you share my videos. I just love what is going to happen this year. Within 
three or four weeks I have been in the vortex and constantly raising my vibration and there's so many beautiful things that I have manifested. I love that I'm now getting phone calls for new job opportunities. I love that I'm going to be working on Tuesday on an island, a private luxurious island and that I'm going to meet this beautiful family that I'm going to be working with for a few weeks and I love that I have just sent off an application to move to the second round for another position and I love that I just checked back to my video and I my um, oracle reading video and it just hit 1.4 thousand views I was like what my oracle readings never do very well it's like always one under a thousand but I'm been in the vortex and I'm just feeling so much better and I just love I just love life <sighs> that's pretty good I'm up to three minutes now there you go <laughs> yes it is easier said than done but it's a strategy that has helped me significantly just start moving up the scale I already feel better and that wasn't even about me you know just just feeling a little bit of relief so we're not saying that if you're in the if you're in the depression stage that that is a bad thing. It just moves. It, it just means that you have the power to move up to the next level, which is um, insecurity or guilt or unworthy, unworthiness. <sighs> There's just so much to say. This book I can't recommend it enough. I know someone actually commented me and said, "What are some um, strategies for beginners?" Type in. Abraham Hicks in YouTube and you'll be flooded or if you're not really a YouTube person you don't have a lot of data um, go to the library or buy the book Ask and It Is Given by Esther and Jerry Hicks who um, Esther channels the um, collective consciousness or the entity of Abraham. Um, meditation is another way to help you move up as you receive clarity um, you'll be able to move your thoughts in a different directions maybe you get some insight the other one is listing positive um, aspects about a situation so let's just go to the situation and let's just say you got offered a job but it didn't actually have the hours that you were told that you were going to get and so you list oh, I had to do this um, you had to list all of your positive aspects around this and says, it's so lovely that I'm now employed. I am so grateful that I have um, income, additional income coming into um, my bank account. It's really lovely to um, have a work uniform. It's lovely to um, go to work and to see new people. It's, you, do you get what I mean? I just looked up and it said 11, 11. So that is a good sign. What else is there? So basically, you need to be very mindful about what you think because how you think becomes how you feel and how you feel becomes what you manifest into your reality. So just be very mindful about what you are thinking. Also, go back to the video, The Astonishing Power of Emotions and recap on going with the flow. I have so long been going upstream and I'm realizing that I'm paddling against the current and it's not getting me anywhere. And now that I'm going downstream, all of these beautiful opportunities are just like popping up, like boom, 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 boom. And it's like, wow, it was already lined up for me. I just had to be willing to make peace with the past, which is hard. No, no I don't like that word hard, which was, had some challenging aspects to it. I'm being very mindful about the language that I use because I learned recently from listening to a Louise L. Hay um, uh, audio book, she was saying that the universe does not respond to sarcasm. Um, does No, it doesn't have a sense of humor. So if you can be like, oh my God, you look so amazing, but you're like, no, you don't. You have to be very careful about the choices, the, your choice of words that you're using. Anyways, my love, I'm sure I've made that clear for you, but I'm also going to, um, Post it in the comment section below the list of the, where is it? It was page 90, I remember that. Yeah, the, um, yeah, the emotional guidance scale, which is going to help you. Do you want me to read this for you? We'll have story time. It says that imagine an emotional guidance scale with a good feeling thought on one end and bad feeling thoughts on the other end. And now acknowledge that the end that feels good equals allowing 
and the end that feels bad equals resistance. So it is obvious that depending on your choice of thoughts, you could move towards either end of the scale. It is also obvious that the further that you are from one end of the scale, the closer that you are to the other end. In other words, this thought feels better or this thought feels worse. That this better feeling thought indicates allowing, this worse feeling thought indicates resistance. So, if you're saying in regards to your body, just say, I hate my thighs. What end of the scale? Is that like towards 22 or hatred? That'd probably be hatred, that'd be 19. So that's like the resistance side. Or if you're saying, I love my body. I love my body. You're moving up, so it's the allowing, which also means that when you're moving up the emotional ladder, you are going down, um, going down the stream. It's such a beautiful concept. I wish I knew this years ago. But you know what? We just do the very best we can with the knowledge and understanding that we have at the time. This is so amazing. Uh, let me just read the end part of this. It just says, since the same words are often used to mean different things and different words are often used to mean the same things, these words like these word labels for your emotions are not absolutely accurate for every person who feels the emotion. In fact, giving word labels to the emotion could cause confusion and distract you from your real purpose of your emotional guidance scale. The thing that matters the most is that you consciously reach for a feeling that is improved. A word for a feeling is not important. So yeah, instead of saying, oh, I feel grief or emotional despair, just think a better thought. Just start moving up the emotional scale so you can start creating and manifesting your desires and start closing the gap to resistance. I've, I've just noticed um, for the past, I would say the last week, it's just been a lot of extra work I'm noticing by choosing a better thought. I thought I was a pretty positive person, but I didn't realize the amount of resistance that I actually had. And I really had to pull myself up on certain things. And like, I'm like super positive one moment. It's like you do some meditation, then you get in the car and then someone like pulls out in front of you. You're like, are you flipping kidding me? And it's just like, you just lost it again. So now I'm like, it really would be lovely if all drivers drove their cars with um, an awareness of the road rules and courtesy to other drivers. So I'm just constantly reaching for a better feel feeling thought. Anyways, my love, oh, I'm pretty sure I've made my point clear. It's just whatever the thought comes into your head or whatever situation it is, just find a thought that gives you some relief. Because as you find more relief and as you are incorporating your self-love practices and meditation, you are moving up the emotional guidance scale and you'll be able to manifest your desires a lot quicker. So recap, let's just quickly recap those 22 emotions, starting from the bottom to the top, from resistance to allowing, fear, insecurity, jealousy, hatred, revenge, anger, discouragement, blame, worry, doubt, disappointment, overwhelmed, frustration, pessimism, boredom, contentment, hopeful and hopefulness, optimism, positive expectation, happiness, passion, and love. I just noticed my body saying these words and just been elevated as I said them. Okay, and then let me just recap on some of the strategies that you can use to help you get there. My first and most favorite strategy is the game, it really would be lovely if. Then list your positive aspects associated with whatever the topic is. The other one is your rampage of appreciation. Just like, blah, 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 blah. you know, because it's quite easy for you to get on the negative track, but if you change it to the positive, you're going to feel better. Um, and meditate on your self-love practices. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing to my video and leaving beautiful comments because I cannot wait to connect with you. Remember, continue to make better choices and it's going to help heal your life one blockage at a time. I love you so much. I will see you next episode. Bye, my loves. See you later.